so hello everyone welcome to this video this is lecture number 95 already 94 lecturers covered to solve the supplementary problem of this vector analysis by ms feigel you know this book is very important for physics as well as also for mathematics that's why we decided to solve the supplementary problem of this book in this video we want to discuss about the problem 8.110 to 8.113 of chapter 8 which consists tensor analysis this is part 7 of chapter 8 and this is lecture number 95 previous lectures link are given in the description box you can refer to this okay so let's start with question 8.110 which says that that is uh, let a and these are the b vector so that a b is defined and find it so we need to find a a, a, a b and at first we need to uh, say that a b is defined so you can say the order of matrix a is 2 and 3 number of row is 2 and number of row number of row is 2 and number of column is 3 whereas for matrix b number of row is 3 as well as for number of column is 3 so since the number of column and number of row number of column of a is equals to number of row of, of matrix b since these two are equal so this uh, so a b can perform or a b is defined right defined and its uh, order will be 2 cos 3 this 2 and this 3 ok so if we wants to find a b so write down this a and b 3 4 minus 1 2 2 3 and b is 3 sorry minus 3 2 minus 1 1 3 minus 2 minus 2 2 1 2 so if we multiply 3 into 3 minus 9 uh, minus 1 into 1 minus 1 2 into 4 plus 4 similarly 3 into 2 6 uh, minus 1 into 3 minus 3 2 into 1 plus 2 and this is minus 3 uh, minus minus plus 2 and 2 into 2 4 similarly for that 4 into 3 minus 12, 2 into 1, 2, 3 into 2, 6, and this is 8 plus 6 plus 3, this is minus 4, minus 4 plus 6. So you can write this as a minus 6, 5, 3, minus 4, 17, minus 2, simple. This is for question number A. For question B, BA is are not defined. So, if you want to BA, so the order of B matrix is 3 cross 3, whereas order of A matrix is 2 cross 3. Since these two are not equal, then since these two are not equal, so BA are BA is not BA is not defined. BA is not defined. Clear? Whereas uh, uh, AB, sorry, A plus B. This uh, dimension is 2 cross 3 and this dimension is 3 cross 3. Since these two are dimension are not same, for addition or subtraction, the dimension of two matrices will be same. But here the dimension are not same. So uh, this is also, so this also, also not defined. Defined, this also not defined. Clear? Next, go to the next question that is one uh, 8.111 which says find the uh, x y z such that this is so if you uh, if you write this as a uh, a matrix this as a a matrix if you uh, write this as a a matrix this as a a matrix and this is x so this will be some b so x can be written as a inverse b so you need to find out a inverse at first so you need to find out a inverse at first you know a inverse is adjoint a by a mod a so at first we find mod a what is the value of mod a that is 2 minus 1 determinant of a actually 1 2 minus 4 minus 1 3 minus 2 so determinant of this you will be get 2 minus 4 plus 12 plus 1 minus 2 minus 4 and plus 3 
3 plus 2. So, this gives you 16 minus 6 plus 15 that is 25. For adjoint A, what will be the adjoint A? That is for 2, this will be 2 minus 4, 3 minus 2. For minus 1, this will be 1 minus 4 minus 1 minus 2. For 3, this will be 1, 2 minus 1, 3. And for 1, for this one, this row column change. So, minus 1, 3. 3 minus 2 similarly this will be 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 and this is 2 minus 1 minus 1 3 right and this is minus 1 3 2 minus 4 and this is this is 2 3 1 minus 4 and this is 2 minus 1 1 2 right so this and this is minus, this is minus, this is minus, this is minus. So, this can be written as just take the determinant, you will be get minus 4 plus 12. This is minus 2 minus 9. This is 4 minus 6. This is minus 2 oh, minus minus 2 minus 4. This is minus 4 plus 3. This is minus minus 8 minus 3. This is 3 plus 2 minus 6 minus 1 and this is 4 plus 1. So, this gives you 8, 6, 5, 7, minus 1, minus 5, minus 2, 11, 5, right? Now, you need to multiply this A inverse with B. Sorry, first you find out A inverse. A inverse is adjoint A by determinant of A determinant A is we got uh, 25. So, put here 25 and this is the 8, 6, 5 uh, minus sorry 7 minus 1 minus 5 and minus 2, 11, 5 minus 2, 11, 5. Okay. So, we need to find out A inverse B. So, A inverse is this that is 8, 6, 5. 7 minus 1 minus 5 minus 2 11 5 into b b is the 1 minus 3 6 so this will be 1 by 25 that is 8 minus 21 minus 12 6 plus 3 plus 66 5 plus 15 plus 30 so this gives you 1 by 25 minus 25 75 60 not 50 so this gives you minus 1 3 2 so if you compare now if you uh, if you compare that is ax equal to a inverse b x means x equals to a inverse b x means x y z and a inverse b is minus 1 3 2 so you can write x equals to minus 1 y equals to 3 z equals to this is the solution of this question. Go to the next question that is sorry that is 8.113. The inverse of a square, uh, square matrix A is written as A inverse is defined A, A inverse equals to I where I is the union matrix 1 gives find out the main diagonal and 0 is empty square identity. Find A inverse of this and S and is this is uh, possible of that. So, for question A, for A inverse, we need to find out mod A at first. What will be mod A? That is 3 mod means at uh, determinant that is 12 minus 10 that is 2. Then adjoint A is nothing but uh, for 3, this will give you 4, for minus 2, this will be minus 5, this is minus 2, this is 3, and this will be minus, this will be minus. So, this cancel out. This is adjoint A. So, what will be the A inverse? A inverse will be the adjoint A by mod A. Right. So, 1 by 2 that is 4, 2, 5, 3. Now, you need to find out A inverse into A. What will be the A inverse A? A inverse is 1 by 2, 4, 2, 5, 3. And, sorry. 
and a is the two oh, sorry 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 a is the three minus two minus five four so that is one by two uh, twelve mm, a inverse a twelve ten minus eight plus eight this is 15 minus 15 minus 10 plus 12 so this gives you 1 by 2 2 0 0 2 that is 1 0 0 1 okay this is the identity matrix so in that case for question a a inverse a equal to i is satisfied for question b for question b just write down uh, mod of a a mod of a will be determinant that is 1 minus 1 1 2 1 minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 2 so if you just and uh, expand this you will be get that is 1 minus 2 minus 1 that is 3 okay and what will be the adjoint a just write down the adjoint a this gives you like that 1 minus 1 minus 1 2 uh, just follow up the previous process just done sometime else okay minus 1 1 minus 1 2 1 1 1 2 and this is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 okay for this minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 2 1 so if you just <laughs> write down this will gives you 1 minus 5 minus 3 1 1 0 0 3 3 right so this is a inverse so a inverse nothing but the mod a uh, oh, sorry adjoint a by mod a so if you wants to find out a inverse a then one third a inverse is one third one minus five minus three zero not zero one one zero that is zero three three and a is one two one minus one one minus one one minus one two so if you multiply you will be get 1 plus 2 plus 0 minus 1 plus 1 plus 0 1 minus 1 plus 0 this is minus 5 plus 2 plus 3 this is 5 plus 1 minus 3 this is minus 5 minus 1 plus 6 this is minus 3 plus 0 plus 3 this is 3 plus 0 minus 3 and this is minus 3 plus 0 plus 6 so this gives you one third this is 3 0 0 0 3 0 0 0 3 so this 3 will be common you will be get 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 clear this is i so for that case also a inverse a equals to i satisfied i think clear and next one is the proof that has no inverse so a modulus that is the determinant 1 4 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 3 4 just expand this that is 2 minus 8 plus 9 minus 1 4 minus 12 minus 2 minus 3 plus 8 that will gives you 2 plus 8 minus 10 that is 0 since this is 0 so a inverse you know that is adjoint a by mod a so since this is zero so this is not not possible or defined not defined so since since a is zero that is a is singular matrix singular matrix since this is singular matrix so a inverse a inverse not possible a inverse not possible okay so inverse not possible that's it for any query any doubt you must comment in the comment box or you can contact with me
this is all about me and this is my contact details you can contact with me and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get the videos which already uploaded there is a part of mechanics and many other things you will be get in this channel where this video through your friends as that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and those already subscribed thanks for subscription and press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you